Better get up here. Go take my walk. <clears throat> now, let me say, I, 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 I talked I talk with someone yesterday at my home in the living room. We 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 don't we don't only preach on Facebook. We everywhere. <laughs> All right. I was talking to someone yesterday. Someone came over and we were talking. And we were talking about the major, the, the major churches and denominations, and you know, mega churches and big ministries and all that kind of thing. And, and I said it before, man, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I said it before, and I said it again. And the Bible backs me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I don't care how big your denomination is, how big your ministry is, I don't care if you got a mega ministry, whatever, I don't care how big it is. When someone stands up and speaks the truth among so called God theorists, people, when the truth is spoken, all eyes, your eyes is not on your leader. All eyes are on you. And I'm not, I'm not talking about no poo -toot park either. Man, would someone stand up and speak the truth? See, a lot. Just like Israel, a lot of them. Were, most of them were deceived. Yet they were going to the temple every day and going to the synagogue every day as they custom was every day. On the Sabbath day, they go to the synagogue and read the word. Reading the scripture don't save you. <laughs> you know, they use that as a cover. Got a Bible up under your rotten arm. Hallelujah. I'm reading the word of God. I read the scripture every day. Hallelujah. And that's all you do and read. Hallelujah. But you ain't meditating on the day and night that you won't sin against him. Hallelujah. All right. Boy. I don't care how big the ministry, congregation, I don't care how I don't care how many so-called Christians is in the world, how many so-called saints, I don't care when the two, when the two, and some of them sincere God fear, but they've been deceived. But when the truth is given, let me give you a scripture in the book of Luke, the fourth chapter. When Jesus went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, you know the synagogue was not the temple. Yet the same people that was over the synagogue, the same people that took over the temple. Hallelujah, chief priest, high priest, uh, 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 scribe, Pharisees, Sadducees. Hallelujah. And Jesus went one Sabbath day and opened up the verse. And found the page to where the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has known me to preach the gospel to the poor, heal the broken heart, set the liberty of them that I bruised. Hallelujah, so on and so forth. And when he read it, he said something when he got to read. My show be. Mm -mm -mm. But when he got to reading it, he said something. <sighs> When he got through reading that, he said so. He said, this day is this scripture fulfilled before your eyes. I'm who this scripture was talking about. I'm who this prophet was talking about. 
I'm here now. I came to fulfill the law. Now you listen to me. Not the law. Ha. Ha. The same way with Philip. When the Holy Ghost told Philip, join yourself to the chariot. And the union were reading the scripture. And the union wanted to know, who is this talking about? This fellow somebody else. And Philip went on and preached to him Christ. Whenever the truth is spoken, all eyes, all eyes are on you. They're going to come to fight you. They're going to come to condemn you. They're going to come saying you don't show love. They're going to come to say you don't show mercy. You got a mouth full of scripture and a heart full of hate. And nobody without sin, and nobody, and there is nobody that perfect. That's what I ain't towards you. Stop condemning folks. That's what I ain't towards you. You don't have the power to condemn nobody. But Jesus do, and God do, and they gonna condemn you to hell too. Matter of fact, Jesus said you already condemned. Uh oh, John three. My God, today 70, 80, 90, 20. Hallelujah. When the word of God is read. All eyes on you. And then big old to the denomination. All the wind rise. And, and then big old denominations in. Uh movements in. Churches in. Hallelujah. Institutions. All when the truth is read. Not just read just as reading. But reading and pointing to you. Now when they heard that they were pricking their heart. All eyes gonna be on you. When you show them their everyday ways, all eyes on you. And, and you and you show the scripture. All eyes on you. When I tell you, and this is not to get lifted up in pride for the time of the life, but when I tell you. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, it's such a God in Christ, holy convocation here in Memphis right today. When I tell you, when, the, when we gave the truth, and I'm not the only one, all eyes on me. I, I was on a group thing one time, and the administrator said, oh man, you know, a lot of the saints were rejoicing. Oh, young man, you tell the truth. Keep telling the truth. Then the song came on fight. You got the wrong spirit. You think about leaving church, God and Christ? You don't have love. Go to him and him alone. Hallelujah. But act like I got kicked off. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. One told me hey, you could be on, but one thing about it, don't speak against the leadership of who, who you talk to. Jesus speaks against leadership, those that are guilty. When I tell you that Catholics, my God, were held counsel for three days. Uh, one, then he went and got his Catholic brother, then he went and got another brother, then he went and got another brother, and when he got through, he said, your blood on your own head. <laughs> when I tell you, you a witness, when I tell you apostolic faith, uh, some of Bishop Bond, the late Bishop Bond, the folk, they said you across the line now. Hallelujah. Who is your pastor? I say Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. When the word of God is spoke, all eyes are on you. They're on you. They're on the word of God. That you preach. Hallelujah. No matter how big the ministry, their eyes are on you. No matter how many members of the nomination got, their eyes are on you. When you speak the word, their eyes are on you. And they're going to fight you. They're going to try to stop you. The truth ain't going to rejoice. That's enough. You understand. Thank you for viewing.